second half, there was, there was no real spirit, I felt. After they conceded that goal, they seemed to be up on the ropes and it looked more likely, didn't it, that Bayern were going to get a second as a PSG and equaliser. I think if I'm a PSG fan, that's what would disappoint me, that you're in this Champions League final, your first one ever, and I can't care about your experience in this competition. Surely this is your chance, your opportunity, and no one grasped it. Well, don't forget that Marquinhos has a fantastic chance and Neuer saved uh, fantastically uh, the ch Marquinhos' chance. Uh, and you're right. It's what I said that when we started that uh, Bayern was in control of the game, but it was the choice of Paris Saint-Germain. Maybe they didn't have the legs. Maybe they were expecting too much from their stars. Uh, but defensively, I saw fantastic Kimpembe. I saw fantastic Bernat. Nothing to say about Navas. Uh, same for Thiago Silva, Carrier has maybe, had maybe the best game of his, of his season, but, well, they, had, they conceded one goal where this is a team, clearly we can score three or four goals per, per game. But today, there was a, a deficiency, how do you say that, uh, from, from, the, from the forwards, and that's the result of the game. So do you put it down as just one of those days, Ali, for PSG and their stars, or is it deeper than that? No, I think it'd be too simple to say that it's just one of those days. I, I think if you're PSG, you look at this as a wasted opportunity. Uh, whether you have had the experiences of the past or not, well, nobody has had the experiences of a pandemic and COVID-19 in the past. And so it made this tournament, because in the end it became a tournament, a short tournament, it made it a very unique situation. And in a very unique situation, PSG makes it to the final with all the momentum in the world, feeling good about themselves, with their good players, their best players playing at a high level and confident about their abilities, and now you have the chances to score and you don't. So it, it, it's not just as simple as say it's one of those days. I, I think if, if you look at the reaction or lack thereof by PSG after Bayern Munich scores, that's the part that you really have to point the finger at and say, wait a minute, where, where were these guys? Where is the leadership? What you saw from PSG is that then they got divided, they got fractured, they got disconnected all over the place, and everybody is complaining about the calls and the fouls and disruption in play and yellow cards and pushing and shoving, but very little playing. So all the opportunities that PSG had were in the first half, not in the second half. Yes, you mentioned the one by Marquinhos, but aside from that, there was really nothing in the attack from PSG and no real sequence of attack. So Bayern Munich won nothing, Champions League final. I think they were expecting PSG to get forward and to really give them some trouble, this was as comfortable as one nothing could have been in a Champions League final against a team as talented as PSG. And that talent shone through. Craig, the first ever team to win every single match in a Champions League campaign. Uh, without a doubt, the best, best club team that we saw, of course, in this competition. Absolutely, because Man City equally is talented, but, but just couldn't, couldn't get the whole package uh, right. You know, and, uh, and, and I thought what was the epitome of the... the the squad togetherness and the the harmony that uh, Hansi Flick has harmless was was the pictures of him in the pitch at the end, particularly the one with Thomas Muller with his arms around him. And I think if anybody uh, is going to thank Bayern uh, for appointing this man, it would be Thomas Muller because mm. he was sat parked on the bench under Niko Kovac and, and he's really come back and flourished. Uh, but the other interesting thing here is, and we're talking about a Champions League final, what a night for the VAR to pick to go to the burger van. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, the first penalty you, we could argue about, I actually personally thought it was a penalty because you've got the hands on him on Coman. Then I thought Mbappe should have had a penalty. I can understand the referee missing it, but when VAR looks at it, there's a clear taking out of the calf before the ball, if the ball was played at all. And then the Lewandowski one at the end, where he takes, I can't remember who it was, but he, he, he wraps his leg around Lewandowski before there's any contact in the ball. Where, and where the hell was the VAR? Because these are difficult calls for the referee at full speed. And, and, and you know, in such a big game, we, we didn't see any of that. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.